Today, I showed myself grace and love. After getting out of a relationship with a cheating narcissist, some days I feel drained. I felt like I had lost myself trying to constantly be perfect for him. Coming to the realization that someone I loved so deeply, could take advantage of me and exploit my biggest vulnerabilities to cause maximum damage to me. To break my heart, shatter my spirit, and wreck my soul in ways unimaginable to me. The days are slowly getting easier, at least I think. One of the things I've committed to doing for myself is all the things he never did for me. He knew I loved flowers and plants. He never once got me any, but would always point them out at the store. Said he could never afford them, but could afford a Nintendo Switch the second he got his tax return. But, he isn't the point. On my drive home today, I noticed a local farmer's market. Today I had been feeling exhausted, like I had so much to do. Normally I would have told myself I couldn't do that, I need someone to do it with. But, I turned my car around, and I went. I'm learning to take comfort in my own company. I bought myself flowers, took in the gorgeous views over the lake of the city, ate a delicious and fulfilling meal. Was it the cheapest? No. Was it the healthiest? No. But God, was it delicious. Bought some fresh strawberries, a homemade brownie, and took it all in. I took in all the stands, the grandparents with their grandchildren, the dogs with their owners, the ducks in the lake, the way the wind blew my hair back. I reflected on the fact that while I can be pessimistic at times, my younger self would be so proud of me. I'm living the life I've always dreamed of as a little kid. Going to college in a big city, with my own apartment, my own money, my own car, pursuing a field I love, something he always belittled me for, with my dream internship. Statistically, I shouldn't be here. As a young, low-income, Hispanic woman coming from a single-parent household, I had to fight to make it this far. And, I owe it to myself and my mother to make us proud. I'm slowly finding myself again, after feeling like I had lost a part of myself for so long. I'm learning that I can do all the things for myself that I always wanted him to do for me. That loving myself is enough. I'm deserving of good things, even if it means I have to be alone while doing them. I'm taking back what I lost, because I don't want him to take any more of my happiness away from me. Now, I'm going to go home, arrange my lovely flowers in some water, dance like no one's watching to some Taylor Swift, and maybe pick up some vanilla ice cream to have with my homemade brownie and fresh-picked strawberries. Thank you.